I've made a lot of videos on uh, controller modifications. Um, I showed you how to beef up the traces, uh, change the effects, overvolt, undervolt. <laughs> um, this one's a virgin basically. This is um, a $30 eBay controller. And um, I haven't even had a look inside of it myself. So we're going to open it up and I'm going to do all the things that I've done to my past ones. But I won't show you that, but what I will show you is uh, in this video is how to do a simple thing like you don't have to over volt it if you want a little bit more torque. I'll show you how to um, adjust the shunt simply by pinching them together and a little bit of solder. So we'll uh, go ahead and do that. I'll show you how to do it properly so you don't end up blowing your controller up because if you overdo it you'll, you'll blow it up. Well there's the inside of it. Uh, this one is 35 amps max at 48 volts, 1000 watt. Um, so there's the shunt, that's what it looks like. This model has three, most of them have two or one, the lower end ones. Um, I've been pumping over 60 volts in this sucker, it doesn't even get warm. And uh, the caps look like they've survived, surprisingly. I don't like how those fets are mounted there. See, they're all sideways and looking like they're ready to touch each other. Eesh. Sloppy. But uh, other than that, it's uh, it's been a good controller for what I paid for it. It's unmodded. It's pretty much a virgin. So what we're going to do is just basically we're going to just take two of the shunts, squeeze them together a little bit, and then butter it up a little bit with some um, solder on the end. That should bring us up to about 40. And I gotta also check the FETs to see what the maximum um, amp draw on them is. Well that would explain why I couldn't damage this controller. Um, it's a... the model of the uh, the chip is a P75N F75. Um, it's rated for 75 volts at uh, 80 amps continuous so I think I'm all right by uh, lathering up this a little bit <laughs> and uh, I stick to my same voltage um, maybe I'll change the caps the 60 volt caps that's about it these two here but uh, I think I got my money's worth on this this controller cost me 30 bucks ship so I got a good deal and there's my butter job we can uh, just have to change the caps and uh, we're good to go. Got to do those two there and the two small ones. Which I'm sure I have. And then uh, I'll call it a day on this one. And there we go, we're done. Caps are done. The shunt is done. This won't speed the bike. Well, I mean, it might speed the bike up a bit. But uh, what it will do is it'll uh, give it a little bit of a oof when uh, you hit the throttle if you're crossing the street without uh, just buttering the end up gives it a couple of more amps so there you go